Alright, now we're really back in the desert. As you can see by all this sage. And road walking. So, uh, I don't know what Colorado's necessarily doing here, but it ain't too bad. Nice little switch up from going straight up and down for a while. So, yeah, we'll give this desert section of Colorado a try. All right, peace. All right, so uh, Archuleta Creek on June 11th is dry. And I think right over there is the trail. It cuts back into there a little bit. And then once you get to the dirt road, take a right, come up quarter of a mile and kind of bushwhack to your right and look down into this little valley and you'll see some water over here running but then the prize is where Fitty's at right now you want to get me a money shot close up of that spring real quick Fitty? There we go. Nice. <laughs> Alright, cool, cool. So yeah, that's where the spring's at. Um, probably the directions weren't too great, but it's better than what we had. We ended up walking down. Don't go to the left down the dirt road. Keep following the trail. <laughs> and uh, yeah, bushwhack. Once it, once it, the first turn, bushwhack to the right a little bit, up and over, and you'll find some uh, stuff flowing. It's a good spring. Alright, peace. All right. So uh, about half a mile, half a mile to Colorado, Highway 114 trailhead. And um, that'll put us at 21 miles in uh, about five o'clock about, a little bit before. And uh, you can see the road to the left right there. But um, yeah, we're gonna take a break there and uh, hopefully try to get five more miles out of that. We got some good climbs. So, um, we'll look at the map, check it out, but hell yeah, guys, this section, the pace can, uh, become normalized again, because you still got climbs, but it's not climbs that you're just going up and over straight cliff, cliff faces, so we're happy, all right, I'm gonna go get there, all right, peace, so walk in, Highway, highway 114 and uh yeah a little New Mexico vibe going on but um Colorado vibe's about to kick him he's about to go up 1400 foot climb here soon so get the best of both worlds let's see <clears throat> at least the traffic's not too bad All right, here's our turn off. Be able to get off this highway. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> Alright. Back in a summer uh, Rio Grande National Forest. And uh, we're coming out of... What's that creek called? One second. One second. We are coming out of... Luhan Creek and climbing on out. So <clears throat> the last water source on Gut Hook says there's water there. But if you want to save like 0.4 of climbing, if you're gonna do a water carry out, there's a culvert that it runs out of 
and there's some camp spots. Point four past. Uh, let me get the map out again. Point four past mile, 1034.8. So that would make it 1035.2 ish. There's uh, still some good water and there's some good camp spots there. So, depending how you want to do it, good agua, <clears throat> good stuff. We're all carrying three leads out and we're doing a, uh, well now, now that we got up here, another 700 foot climb and find camp up at the top of this mountain so we get one of the big climbs out of the way for the day. So, there's some beautiful spots we're passing up but we're trying to make it so we can time it into uh, Salida pretty well. And I'm about to come up on this trailhead. Well, they take care of their stuff out here. And I think this is the trailhead we want. Um, what? what trailhead? The one we're supposed to cut in? Oh. <clears throat> Let me, uh, ooh, yeah, it's got signage, so. Let me show you what's up. Yeah, DB's messing around back there. Trying to, trying to play games back there. Uh, here we, no. Sweet. Marshall Pass, 32.5. We'll see that eventually. All right, up to the top. All right, June 12th. Second consecutive night cowboying in Colorado. This one worked a lot better than uh, last night. No mosquitoes, but I swore I touched something furry in the middle of the night that ran by. Um, could have been a marmot, could have been a squirrel, could have been a baby bear. Uh, I have doubts that it's a baby bear. DB has doubts as well. But uh, it was some type of furry animal, so that's still not a nice wake-up call. And um, yeah, one more day. T today's a full day and to get out of Salida and then last full, last full day and then kind of Nero in, cruise on in. So another cowboy night tonight, hopefully. All right. All right. Here we are at Razor Creek, mile 1042.7. And uh, got out of camp probably around 7.30, a little after today. And got in here around 9.10, so... About six miles in under two hours. Not a bad pace, not a bad pace. And, um, yeah, definitely get some water here if you're uh, going northbound because next water is 12 miles away. So, camel up, drink up, and uh, get some water. But she's still flowing as of the June 12th. So, good agua, good spot. All right. Head. and uh, it's going to just be a quick video when I get there because this last section from uh, Razor, Razor Creek, is dry, it's dry and it's hot so I'm going to keep pushing that wall again. I'll try to snap a quick video and uh, yeah, I'll keep going. As promised, here's Sergeant Mesa Trailhead. And uh, you can see DB up there. He's filming too, I'm assuming. You filming? I'm filming, you filming? I'm filming, you filming me, filming me, film you. <laughs> I didn't even understand that one though. So uh, yeah, this is a pretty sweet spot. Like I said, just wanted to grab a quick vid. It would be a nice spot to take a break. Beautiful views of these mountains, the sky and whatnot. But water, thirsty, dehydrated. So I hope that makes sense to you. Dehydrated, thirsty, and water. 
yeah, it does, doesn't make much sense to me either, but I think, uh, I think you'll get the gist. So this is a pretty cool spot. One more mile till lunchtime and uh, water. Hopefully, Fitty's back there somewhere. We waited for him for about combined 45 minutes. Still haven't seen him. So we'll see what's up. We'll take at least an hour at lunch and try to find him. All right, guys. So about mile 1054.7.1 before the small stream icon, bust a right and uh, you'll see if you keep going a little bit of running water and then right here, got some really good running water. This is of June 12th though, so it might dry up, but um, very good agua. <clears throat> Thank God it had agua because definitely a little dehydrated coming into here. And uh, yeah, mosquitoes here as well, as you can see. <laughs> All right, check out the sea of yellow. Wow. Colorado comes out with some flowers, that's for sure. Ooh, creepy little shack to the left-hand side as well. Um, yeah, definitely wouldn't camp around here. That's a creepy, creepy shack. But, surrounded by cool sea of yellow. All right, gonna go get to Stevens Tank Creek, I think. And from there, uh, we're gonna have to pack out water again, so nice little water carry five miles up, probably. So, we'll, uh, we'll see how the day goes. All right. Ooh. All right, I don't know why this hit me so cool, but the aspens, the yellow flowers, the lighting out, this is a pretty cool, it's well on this back side of this ridge right now. A little out of Stevens Tank, pa Stevens Tank Creek. And this is just awesome. What? Yeah, I had to bring you down to this tunnel with me a little bit. It's the contrast of all the colors. Pretty sweet. All right, look at this view of the Colorado mountains. Oh yeah. Pretty sweet. About a mile before uh, the Forest Service Road that we might be camping at. And uh, there's some cool gnar, gnar out here. Let me show you what's up. Oh yeah. Colorado, baby. Colorado.